I'm Lee with Bestop Customer Service, and today we'll be replacing a battery on a sensor for the PowerBoard NX and performing a resync so that all the doors work. These are the door sensors that we'll be working with on these vehicles. Uh, there are one of these sensors per door, this being a four door, we're going to have four of these sensors on this truck. On this particular truck, the four sensors are behind the B pillars. You may also find them up by the A pillar. There are two screws that are already removed from the cap. You can pull the cap off the housing and you'll also notice a rubber grommet to keep the water out. Once those are both off, you can slide the circuit board out of the housing. The battery is plus side up and it's a CR2450. You can't put the sensor back in here the wrong way. It will only fit in the correct way. We'll fit it tightly and then the two screws go back in the top. And I'll just use this to help pull the circuit board out. To perform the resync process, the easiest thing to do is to bring all the sensors here up under the hood. We're going to start by removing all four of the batteries with a simple flathead screwdriver. Now whether you're replacing one battery or all four, it's important to do the resync with all four of the sensors at the same time. Once you have all four batteries out, we're going to pull the fuse from the fuse holder. I'll use a pair of pliers to make that a little bit easier. Now after we put the first battery back on the first sensor, we're going to start a clock and we have to do the other three batteries and then get the fuse back in the fuse holder before that five minutes runs out. Having everything up here under the hood makes that a very quick process. Now that all four batteries are back in, I'll put the fuse back in the fuse holder. I'll give the power boards about 30 seconds to locate the new sensor addresses and the boards will deploy on the left and on the right side of the truck. Reinstalling the sensor into the housing is pretty easy because it won't let you install it unless it's facing the correct direction. Once that's in, take the cap, press it on, and then tighten down the two screws so that the rubber seal between the cap and the housing creates a watertight seal. Once all four of the sensors are reinstalled into their housings, you can test each door by itself to make sure they're all functioning. Remember that you have a four second delay on retraction for the boards with the PowerBoard NX. Thank you for watching our video on how to replace a battery and resync the PowerBoard NX. For more information, visit bestop.com or call our customer service team.